time-weighted rate of return is a method of finding the rate of return over a particular time period when deposits or withdrawals are made to or from an account. The cash flows break the period into sub-periods, we find the return in each sub-period, and then we combine them in a specific manner to find the total return. Here we have a client with a portfolio valued at $20,000. On April 1st, the client deposits $2,000 into the account, and the account value is 22,820 after the deposit. This deposit creates a sub-period from January 1st to April 1st. Since $2,000 of the increase in account value was from a deposit, the return from the investment is only $820, not $2,820. We take the return of $820, divide by the starting value of $20,000, and get 0.0410 or 4.10% as the return during that sub-period. Note that this is not an annualized return, it is a return from January 1 to April 1. Since there are no other deposits for the rest of the year, the only other sub-period is from April 2 to December 31. The increase from 22,820 to 24,000 is all from investment return, so we can find the percentage return by taking the difference and dividing by the starting value. We get 0.0517 or 5.17% as the return from April 2 to December 31. To find the total return given the sub-period returns, we write the returns in their decimal form plus one. We then multiply these values together and subtract one from the result. We get 0.0948 or 9.48%.